Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Did I scare you there? No. Come, oh, sorry. Come with Wild Turkey Rye 81. Let's test it. Test it! <laughs> Wild turkey rye, Bruno. And this is the 81, unfortunately. I've not seen the 101. I know. I've seen it. Not no, locally. I haven't seen it. As, as the, the difference in just the standard wild turkey 81 to the 101. I'd love you to know, compare. Like, well, oh, you, you, you mean the regular bourbon? Yeah, just the regular bourbon. Yeah. You know, the difference in how the, to me, the, you know, I think you believe or yeah. you, you agree the 101 is significantly better than the 81. Right, hold on. Uh, so generous. I wish we had uh, the 101 as well and see if that same. Yes, applies. wild turkey. We would like to see the 101 and the 81. For a while, I thought you were on the take with wild turkey. It could have been all the logos that are on my wild turkey Jeep Grand Cherokee that they sent me. Sure. Could right. Be. That happens. That happens. <laughs> I got a wild turkey. It's got a giant turkey on it with that beard just whenever you hit the horn and it's like, blah, blah, like that <laughs> that's what happens hey you know it's free well i gotta i gotta loosen up the lips yeah, here it's, it's, it's more of a blah, 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 blah. that's right so yeah the horn does that it's like those guys that you see drive around in the pink mary Kay car uh-huh hey but, it's pink but it's not pink and it's not mary Kay. oh shoot what is it what are those pink you know the pink ones oh you're saying no, you're, the wild turkey yeah right yeah, you just got to take the good with the bad. So if you had a wild turkey Jeep Grand Cherokee with a horn that made that noise and it had little turkeys all over it, I'd drive it. Sorry, I'm in the land of make-believe. What do you got on the nose? <laughs> I get a sweet, peppery rye. Hmm. It's, I mean, you, to me, there's a, a sugary sweetness. Okay. Some of those rye notes, the dill comes out. Oh, look at that. Yeah, well, I, I found it right away. Oh. <laughs> it was like very organized. I thought, whoa, I didn't pull up my nose. It's a very pleasant nose. I get like a caramel apple rye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, it's like, a, it feels like a winter. That's what it was. I said sugary because I about uh -huh. said Jolly Rancher, but I didn't have a, a flavor to pin it down to with the Jolly Ranchers, but it is. It's that can, that, that green Jolly Rancher apple. Yeah. And if you had those little green Jolly Ranch, well, they're not Jolly Ranch, but they're green apple sucker wrapped in the caramel. So it's like a mm. caramel apple, mm -hmm. but it's a sucker. That's kind of what this is for me. And then it's got that rye bread. This feels like November to me. I mean, it feels like the month of November with Thanksgivings, you know, and the bakings going on and the wild turkey 81s you know, on the table. You know, for me just a little, okay. I tell you in a little right. bit. Well, I wouldn't, you there was a comment on how well you pour an eighth of an ounce. Yes. <laughs> you just needed to show that off again is what you were doing. Who was, who was it? I don't know. Marry a dribble. Though. He doesn't even dribble, but he can get you an eighth of an ounce. And uh, when I poured it, I had like a full ounce in here. I immediately thought, eh, let me share that. So I apologize. I'm not trying to run you short. Give and me a second because I'm going to pull that yep, up. Go ahead. In here. You can see here, I love this. Now, I'm a big rye fan. I'm digging all the rye, But... Uh, Scott will get on me yeah. because I'll be like, he'll be like, hey, we got to review that stuff. I'll be like, ooh, I didn't even know it was getting out low. Didn't even yeah. know. So are you able to pull up? I know we've got a live. No, it was sitting there churning, and I was afraid I'm, I'm Wi-Fi'd into our new camera that right. we're recording with. And it started churning, trying to pull up YouTube, and I didn't want to disconnect from oh. the camera. So we oh. need to try that out and see if I can pull up Safari here at the same time that we're linked in with the camera. Very cool. All right, so we got a good <laughs> nose on it. Um, huh. Although I could pull it up on my on the iPad here. Mm. I like that. That was a good comment. That whoever mm -hmm. his wife wanted him to uh, wanted me to teach him how to pour that small of a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was his wife, right? Yeah. <laughs> he said, "You need to take lessons from Scott on pouring a lighter gram." All right, the flavor on here it was velvety soft. And I'm going to refer to my notes because I really love what I wrote in my notes. I broke it down almost like bullet points. So I get a softer entry, 
a soft cling to the cheek, and a soft, dry finish. So literally, I get like a, that, everything about this is like a little velvet pocket. It's like a velvety pocket <laughs> of, of rye flavor. Because some of the ryes... Wow, we got a little hand there. I had to start, had yeah. to start the video. Start it up. The... Some of the ryes will punch you in the face. Some of the ryes are super sweet. If I characterize this one as anything, it would be just a softness. Just a soft roundedness all the way around. Um, I then added some water. I haven't done it yet. Um... Let me add a drop. Have you even tasted it yet? Yeah. Yep. Okay. What are you, uh, before I drive into the water, what are you getting? I'm not finding it off the bat. It's taking oh. too long, so. That's right. We'll I apologize. Yeah. Hey, you um, know I can talk and fill space. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the taste at, at, at neat is it's very mild. It's very smooth. That sweet citrus, that Jolly Rancher caramel apple. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of orange peel, a little bit of dill. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, it's... Uh, no, I see the dill. Yeah. And it's on the nose as well. Mm. I don't get any of the... Uh, what'd you say? The orange peel? Orange peel. I don't get any of that. I definitely, the dill is right there. You're right. Um, when I add, uh, I added a small drop and I made it real small. In my notes, I, I've got, I definitely prefer this neat. Um, when I add water, it kind of shoves that rye way down deep, almost like I can't quite get. I really like the rye flavor. So I don't like this one with water. And, and what it did was it just kind of made what I call a sugary, a sugar water rye. Um, and then I go back and my final comment is, eh, just with the 81, I'm going to prefer it neat. Have you put any water in it? I just I just added a drop, and again at eighty percent, I don't think you want to add too much. You're going to start really bringing it down pretty quick. Mm -hmm. um, in my nose, though, from when I sat down with it, the orange peel kind of turned to an orange marmalade, mm. more of a, a jelly type orange. Um, a little bit of the of the pepper spice and a dill pickle. Now instead of just the dill seasoning. Yeah, it still carries that that peppery. Some of that pepper spice stays and lingers, gives you a bit of a trailing off. That pepper's hung on for about 15, 20 seconds, and then it starts dropping off in sweet. And really, the drop that I put in here, just about perfect, because it's really mm. pretty good. See, on this one, for me, definitely neat. That's why I really want to try the 101, because I yeah. think the 101, I'd like to find where that is. But, hey, unseen in these here parts. Yes. We we'll just have to keep our eye open. <laughs> That's right. Um, Even on here, it's real low. I mean, it's like it just yells rye, and then it's almost the 81 blends in a little bit. Now, let's do a correction. A correction. Something we never uh -huh. realized. A couple weeks ago, we released our George Dickel rye, mm. and we sang a song, Tennessee Whiskey. We did not even realize it's not made in Tennessee. Did you see the comment on that and checking into it? It's a San Antonio. It is a MGP. Oh, really? From India? liquid India. And then George Dickel gets it, charcoal filters it, ages it in, ages it, Tennessee. Yes. And then uses and, the and Tennessee actually, method. Well, and act, yes, but on the bottle, nowhere does it say Tennessee whiskey. Hmm. Yeah, we never. I, I I had just assumed George Dickel Tennessee whiskey rye. Tennessee. Well, we're dummies. Not so. Is that what somebody said? Hey, that's dummies, why we're doing a correction. we're doing a correction. Get ready for a lot of corrections because we're the dummies. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, how would we not know that? We didn't. I didn't. I assumed George Dickel, Tennessee. Nope. Oh, I can but guarantee I, I wouldn't know that. It you are a little bit better on the details that, that like, you well, tell when. Now, I'll tell you what, and we do get some comments sometimes about we, we misstate something or maybe we didn't put out some information. Sure. Revel in it. We are both busy. We yeah. have full-time jobs. We do this on, on the top side. Of that. We're we have, lucky enough to get together to film these true. things. True. We have jobs inside jobs. If I had time to do a lot of research and, and contact descendants of distilleries. Wow. I love the descendants. Yeah. If there's would, any descendants out that. there, I would hang with them. So my main concern is let's just review the liquid that's in the jar, <laughs> in the bottle, you know. I like the and jar. We'll, we'll tell you about the liquid. And maybe we right. get some of our facts wrong. You know who's good with facts? 
Bobby Childs. Bobby's real good. Bobby's yeah, good. On the show. Just had a live. We had him live, and uh, he's got a blog. He puts out a video every once in a while. And I will tell you this: having Bobby on the Dummy Show makes it like a non-dummy episode because he's able to step in and like concisely go. Actually, this is what a sour mash is. I was like, "Hello, there you go, bam." So, and make sure you're tuning into our live shows. We're kind of doing them, maybe not every Sunday at 10 p.m. Central, but most Sundays at 10 p.m. Central. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. So that's yeah. a new thing. One of our goals for 2016 was to start doing some live streamed episodes. We tried Periscope and everything else. Now we're just using uh, uh, YouTube and Google and, and getting them up there. And, and we're getting some real good stuff. Yeah. So... Um. Did you say check scotchtestdummies.com on the front page? We'll put up the information there on the next live streaming. If we have something locked down and as we're coming in, we may mention it on the show. But for the most part, just te just check scotchtestdummies.com. And on the front page, we'll put up there more information on right. the next live streaming. And if you're not following us on uh, Twitter at Scotch Test Dummy, um, follow us there because we'll put out several reminders. Hey, live tonight. Yeah. But get ready Sundays at 10 p.m. Central Time. Almost for, always. Yeah, for yeah. the most part. For the most we, part, we're going to have a show. If we're off or they, someone's got a, you know, we might have to go in and work on a weekend or something. We may not get it done. Or I had sick kids on one of them, and it was touch or go, but we were able to get it in. Yeah. Um, and we may or may not have a special guest. Sometimes it'll just be us. Now, you're digging when, I, when you came over. You said you like this trooper shirt. Yes. All right. Now, what do you got going on? I see dinosaurs. Something. Um, actually, we went Goodwill on the other day. <laughs> That's right. That is a Goodwill find. We, we were like giddy. Here. We were giddy. I was like, woo! Woo! All right. Score-wise, um, we'll do the score. I assume you're getting ready to put it up. You know what? This one, wow. Hold on. You're going to show it? Look. Right there. <laughs> That's my exact score. 85-85. Why? It, you know, it's not bad, but it, it, I mean, it, it's good, it's smooth, it's light, mm -hmm. um, but there's nothing really grabbing your attention and saying, look at me. Yes. It makes me want the 101 rye, because I think there's going to be more. You know what I might and probably will use this for, although I love it, is if I had someone that's never had a rye, and I'm like, you know what, I don't want to overpower them with something... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I can see them trying this. Hey, try the rye. Do you like that underlying it's, rye bread? And it's it's sweet. You know, it's light. So yeah, right. that would be a good intro. Now, I about to, is it worth it? Price it, point. It was really what was it? Thirty five. Ooh, no, no, it was less. No, oh, yeah. no, that's like an eighteen or a nineteen dollar no, bottle. No, no, the eighty one. No, Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. Now you were, yeah, I was going to say you were wrong on the other <laughs> yeah. one, on the Dickel. The Dickel, I thought, was 35. Five. And, and I thought people it was are saying 20. it's 22 50 yeah. I, picked up, I went and picked up another bottle for $22. $22.59, $22. I believe. Yeah. A lot of people have been finding it for $18 and $19. Wow. Steel. Steel. Get a case. Okay, anyway. Okay, so let's I'm, just I'm sure say this it's is in not, the 20s. I'll tell you this is not more than 25 Okay. Let's say it's let's just say it's in the twenty dollar range. I need to actually like write write it on the back of the bottle. Mm -hmm. That's what I need. I need to start cheating. Um, is it worth it? You know what? It's a nice entry to rye at that price point. Sure, I think it's worth it. Do I think there's better stuff at the same price point? I do, but I wouldn't say this isn't worth it. I just sure. think there. the Dickel is a Probably, well, it's a better choice. It's about the same price point. Maybe. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I, I love the, I want to see the 101, you know. Um, I, 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 would, I would say it's worth it and not comparing it to any others. Just saying that the, okay. the $20 With price no comparison, range. it's worth it. It's a sure. lighter entry rye. Um, you know, I wish they'd thrown their 81 on here big and heavy. You know, mm. I mean, it was. it's kind of just blended in. It's almost like a secret that this is their 81. Hey, I love ryes. So, yes, totally worth it. Um, I'm just going to add in the caveat that it, if someone said, hey, I want to try a rye, I'm not, no, I'm not telling them, hey, oh, you got to have the 81 wild turkey. That's my only deal. And I want to try the 101 because I love wild turkey. They're probably repoing my Grand, Jeep Grand Cherokee with the turkey or, or horn right now. I thought it was like a Dodge Hemi. 
It is a Hummer. Uh, H3. Yes, <laughs> that would be the way to go. Mossy old Simmons. Uh, yes. Yes. And they sent one of the little miniature child Hummers with it with the same exact marking. It's like a set pair. And then the boy and I just rolled around. So nice. we're back in fantasy land again. Is there anything else? Uh, Thumbus, please subscribe. We've got a lot of subscribers coming on, and that way you'll get. Uh, you can even go watch our, our pre-recorded live shows. They end up just coming out as, as one of our extra shows. You keep saying thumbus, and every time you do it, it just kind of gives me... Makes you feel dirty. dirty. Connotations. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. There you go. Is that, okay. All right. Scotch it, you Scotch guy. Salancha. Dumbass. Dumbass.